Hey Doombots, Tony Scongili here with a new video series called Roster Milestones. Basically, I have been doing quite a bit of roster reviews for the last year, and as a result, I've seen a fair deal of rosters. And what I've been able to do is kind of take all of the data and create kind of snapshots of where rosters are at certain power levels to maybe show you if you're on the right track or if maybe you're ahead of the curve, a little bit behind the curve, maybe you went in a different direction. Just kind of show you where uh, most people uh, are at, at your number. And we're going to start right at the beginning with uh, the first million. The first major milestone you're going to accomplish is the day you break 1 million TCP. So obviously this isn't a tips and tricks for how to get to 1 million. It's something that comes in time. I'm going to do my best to make this uh, devoid of any free to play slash spending conversation because in reality whether you're spending money or playing completely free to play your progression should still be relatively similar the only difference becomes uh, how quickly you obtain certain parts so a million tcp roster where uh, the players played for 175 days and not spent a single dollar might look a little different than a million TCP roster from a player who's played for 95 days and spent a lot of money, but it won't functionally be that much different. You know, you're still going to be working towards the same or similar teams. You're still going to be trying to hit key targets and legendary unlocks. And ultimately you're building for uh, the content you can do. Uh, again, I'm not going to go into what arena looks like or what war looks like uh, that's de that depends on your wallet and that's not for me to say what i will show you is of the close to 200 roster reviews i've done where most of the players landed at a million and i've done so using my roster uh, just to showcase some of the characters and what we've seen so taking a quick look here i've highlighted the top 20 or so characters that were predominant in the opening million TCP. Some anywhere between the 900,000 and 1.1 million. Uh, these characters were by and large the most frequent and I just kind of wanted to go over it a little bit and let you make your own decisions as to whether or not you think this is the right path, you think this is a little bit further off or you're on par and make the same. Now what you'll notice is my power level is significantly higher because I can't really take power levels at face value and sourcing that many different screenshots from players takes too long but pay attention more to the characters and not so much to the power level we should be okay what you'll notice is the two linchpins of the one million uh tend to be star lord and nick fury the two legendary characters that are i won't say the easiest but um, the most useful to unlock early for a lot of players. Also, for a very long time, unlocking Nick Fury was pretty much the most important legendary next to or on par with Star Lord as far as progressing in raids. So a lot of 1 million TCP rosters share Star Lord and Nick Fury as the uh, kind of linchpins or centerpieces of their progress towards 1 million and think about what that means uh, and as you'll see as we kind of scroll a little bit you'll see there's key characters people not only unlocked but invested in characters like Groot, uh, Mantis, Yondu as well as a handful of the characters that you start with like Shield Medic, maybe Trooper or Security if you manage to unlock them through some arbitrary orb uh, you'll see that 1 million power rosters tend to lean towards these two. I've seen plenty that have Magneto instead of Nick Fury. I've seen some that have Shuri or Invisible Woman. Uh, that is maybe a more frequent take and something I would advocate for, but that's not really what is indicative of what has been happening to this point. And we'll close out with that thought. Another thing you see, obviously, is the Defenders. A lot of people start early on the Defenders and work on them progressively as time goes up. Well, I've been advocating against doing that. I do think that it is reasonable to at least unlock the defenders or 
the best portion of them. You start, obviously, with Punisher and Luke Cage. Jessica Jones is a great character with a lot of high impact value throughout the game. Uh, at, at that point, I it's characters like Daredevil that I see a lot of that I feel like maybe you don't have to waste the arena credits on when you have characters like Mordo, uh, Quake, Scarlet Witch, you know, a little bit higher impact characters for unlocking Iron Man, progressing through the Mystic campaign, progressing through the Cosmic campaign. Um, so I think it's safe to say that Daredevil a uh, little bit un- less necessary now, even on the full Defenders team, and can pretty easily be replaced with characters like uh, Spider Miles or Ms. Marvel. Either one work. Speaking of Ms. Marvel, you'll see that a lot of players at 1 million TCP do tend to have Ms. Marvel, which means they do have a very good Blitz slash War team in the Brawlers, however they break it out. They also have a little bit more sustained and uh, safety-oriented raid team if they pivoted off of the defenders or if they just didn't want to invest too much in them. So Ms. Marvel is another high-impact character that the earlier you get her, the better off your your roster ends up being, especially in some of the U5 nodes that can be a little struggle. And we get kind of close to the end here, and you'll see a couple of things I'd like to point out. So... Green Goblin, Rhino, a lot of players have either unlocked them because they started working on Shuri or they started working on Invisible Woman or just because uh, they wanted villains and there's not a lot of villains or at least high impact villains for the villains campaign to be able to clear through it. Uh, A lot of players over invest in characters like Crossbones and Yondu too. While Crossbones is very, very important in the uh, early stages of the game, he uh, hits a wall and never quite overcomes that. So it's important to keep in mind that, for example, I have a almost 40k crossbones, and while he was important at the beginning of the game for me, I, I wish I had probably stopped him uh, with, in blue gear. So that's, you know, one of those characters. Maybe uh, don't like the bare minimum to get him through the content, and then just leave him on the floor. He's also a tech character, and there's plenty of high impact tech characters you don't want to worry about. Night Nurse is very similar. Uh, you may be using her until your Iron Fist is, you know, capable of actually healing the team, or until you unlock Star Lord and can use the Guardians. Night Nurse will carry you through a lot of the early stages if you can, but over investing in her, not incredibly important. And Yandu, while he is a villain and a mystic and a control uh, cosmic character, he is not really an amazing representation of any of those categories. So he's another character where I I do kind of regret investment. And I do hear from people that, you know, I I got him, I used him to unlock Star Wars, great. Or I used him to push through the first couple of nodes in Cosmic, phenomenal. uh, And that's it. Now, Now, at a million TCP, as we've seen, most players do have at least Star Wars and one other legendary, not including Iron Man, unlocked. So most of your content should be okay. The only thing you should be having a particular difficult time with is perhaps progressing through the mystic nodes or maybe some of the uh, the more detailed Greek raids or maybe U6. And at that point, um, we can talk, we can move into the uh, what the next million should look like for you. And obviously I'm not gonna go into a that video. That's for the two million TCP milestone video. But just right at this point, You're still kind of focusing on legendaries. You're still probably trying to get together the pieces of Magneto, or you're trying to double down with the Sinister Six and get two legendaries for the price of one. You may be pushing towards that six-star Star Lord so you can do Dark Dimension, or you may be hard farming your defenders, which I please advocate against. Do not do that. They're not great pretty much anywhere. Um... Either way, at this point on your head, in your mind, you're probably wondering, well, what's next? What's my next million? You're just continuing through the process. You're unlocking additional legendaries, so you're working on teams for that, and you're working on whatever you're going to en- uh, enter the darkness or dark dimension one. So take a quick look. I'll give it one more once over to show the top 20 characters that are pretty much not only unlocked, but among the highest invested characters of the average 1 million power roster I see. And 
you know, comment below based on how it matches up to you or how if you remember when you were at 1 million. Uh, the point of these videos is going to be uh, that you share with people. So instead of telling them these are the things you have to do, uh, this is more of a this is what most people find success doing. And hopefully that that provides its own support. Other than that, I don't really have any problems with these characters in particular or what it takes. Obviously, your uh, spending or lack thereof will kind of determine how strong they are. But overall, I don't think any of these characters unlocked and relatively decently invested in, uh, including the teams that go with them if they're not mentioned here, like the rest of Fury Shield and maybe some of the Kree minions. I don't necessarily believe that uh, there is an unreasonable separation of progress between those who spend and those who don't. I really do think it's just how quickly they reach the goal. And if you disagree with that, comment below and let me know. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please look out for the second video and uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if this is the kind of information you want or if in the next video you want me to get a little bit more granular and talk about what I think players should definitely be doing. Uh, either way, I will be reading the comments as opposed to normally where I just laugh and do nothing. So let me know and I'll get back to you. Anyway, thank you guys so much again for watching. Have a good night. Have a great day. I've been Tony Scangili and I'll catch you later.